In this video, I will show you how you can start using Fluent Pro Financials for Project Online. Fluent Pro Financials for Project Online is an application that delivers financial categorization, scenario models, financial roll-ups, analytics, estimating, and reporting. The application allows PMO to establish and improve financial budgeting practices and track the investments in projects and portfolio. Learn Pro Financial seamlessly integrates with Microsoft Project Online to give PMOs greater control over portfolio spending, enabling them to increase ROI on every project stage. Instead of customizing your Microsoft Project Online environment by creating multiple task-level custom fields in Microsoft Project and trying to figure out how to model your cost scenarios, you can benefit from using flexible and fully configurable external cost and budget estimation solution that integrates and exports totals to Microsoft Project Online for greater visibility in PWA. As you install Fluent Pro Financials, the first step will be to register the application. So let's open it. On the first step of the wizard, please provide your information. Company name, company website, contact name, contact email address, and phone number. And click Continue. On the next step, provide currency symbol, considering what currency is set in the PWA and also provide financial data types that will be displayed in the wizard. And if you want to display budget column in the wizard, please check display budget column checkbox and click continue. On the next step, specify cost categories that your company uses and the following actions with cost categories are available. You can delete an existing cost category, move cost categories up and down and create a new category. As soon as you are done here, click Continue. By default, Fluent Pro Financials uses an account of a user who installed Fluent Pro Financials application to the PWA. Please note that user account that is used for data synchronization should meet the following requirements. First, this account should have site collection administrator permissions, and it should also be assigned to the default administrator security group or a similar group with the same permission level on the PWA. Click Verify button to make sure that you have all the required permissions. Click Continue to proceed to the next step. Fluent Pro Financials can insert calculated number to existing project fields. And in order to be able to populate project fields with calculated values, please specify field names here on this step. Click Ensure and Fluent Pro Financials will automatically create the fields on your PWA. And in case the fields already exist in PWA, Fluent Pro Financials will show the field exists a message. I don't have these fields on my PWA, so I will click Ensure and create them uh, all automatically. And please note that in fields are budget custom field names. Uh, Fluent Pro Financial will use value from this field for further calculations. Out fields, they are fields that Fluent Pro Financials will populate with values correspondingly. Please note that all the details provided during registration can be later changed. Click Finish to proceed. And as soon as the registration is completed, you will get to the Fluent Pro Financials Overview page. This page displays all projects present on your PWA and two options are available here. Navigate option allows to open the project from your PWA and Create option redirects user to the project and allows to create the budget for this project. As you create a budget for any project and open overview page again, you will see that three options uh, are available now. You can edit this budget, navigate to your project on your PWA and delete this budget. Two more tabs are available here. Licensing tab represents a PWA URL where Fluent Pro Financials is installed and license details. And Embed tab displays a code that you can use to embed Fluent Pro Financials to the PDP page on your PWA. I will copy this code at once. So it is possible to embed Fluent Pro Financials uh, on a PDP page or any other page in Project Online. We will use Content Editor web part for this purpose. So let's open Project Online environment. I will open my project on the PDP page. Select to edit this page. Click Add web part. 
select media and content in the categories list. In the parts list, select the content editor part and click add to add this web part to the page. Select click here to add new content option to set up web part to display the dashboard information. Click the edit source option on the ribbon to open the HTML source window and paste the PWA embedded code from the overview page in Fluent Pro Financial that we have copied previously. Please note that you can add uh, this web part to a PDP directly and you can also create a new PDP. And in this case, please make sure to add the newly created uh, PDP to the corresponding EPT. And you can then verify Fluent Pro Financials by opening any project containing the corresponding PDP page. So now you can also create project budget in Project Online directly on the PDP page of your projects. I will open Fluent Pro Financials page again and uh, we will uh, walk through the settings here. This tab represents the following sections that can be edited and saved. First, company information. And this section contains information specified during the installation of a Fluent Pro Financials application. In case of necessity, details provided during the installation can be changed at any time. Next section displays preferences in Fluent Pro Financials. And here you can change currency symbol, financial data types, and project level budget entry. Cost categories. This section displays a list of cost categories for which financial data is calculated for. By default, seven categories are added. If you want to be able to add, remove or edit categories in Fluent Pro Financials, the checkbox that allows these operations uh, should be checked. Project Web App Details section represents information on the connected PWA and project level cost fields a mapping section allows to verify if fields required for Fluent Pro Financials exist in PWA. Click Save to save the changes. So let's create project budget. I will open Project Online Environment, open one of the projects on the PDP page where we have previously embedded Fluent Pro Financials and create project budget. I will uh, fill in forecast and baseline fields. All the totals are calculated automatically. Uh, and budget field displays the information that is specified in the total budget project custom field. Several options are available on the budget table as well. Here you can select the period of time for which you perform budget planning. You can add data types if needed. Uh, if the heat map option is turned on, and the forecast number is greater than baseline, it will be highlighted. Copy option allows to copy forecast numbers to baseline and vice versa. If you have EPM Pulse installed uh, on your project online environment, uh, or you can always install it from the App Store, you get more options on how you can work with financials. We have added several dashboards to EPM Pulse that allow to optimize financial visibility across multiple portfolios with Fluent Pro Financials reporting feature, which includes um, Actuals VS Planned Mode. As you install Fluent Pro Financials, you can request a dashboard pack from our support team with a set of dashboards and widgets that can be used to build graphical reports for budget planning. Also, a custom list will be created on your PWA, it is called Budget Chunks, and as you install Fluent Pro Financials on your PWA, it is created automatically, and later it can be specified in the corresponding field in EPM Pulse. If you open um, the gear button and select Data Management, you can specify this field um, there, and EPM Pulse will extract the data from this list, and the data will appear in the dashboard. So here you can review the information for project portfolio and for each project separately. We have two dashboards for project portfolio reports. Here you can review the information for the current year, for example, for all projects that you have previously created budget planning for. And a project dashboard allows to track information for each project separately. Each dashboard has a gear button where you can copy the embedded code and following the same steps as we followed while embedding Fluent Pro Financial on the PDP page, EPM Pulse reports can be embedded on any PWA page as well. So now you have uh, Fluent Pro Financials installed and configured uh, in your project online environment and you can start planning your project budgets. 
If you have any questions or need additional information, you can always visit our help site or contact our support team. Thank you for watching this video.